Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, for all you that are new watchers of the channel and that haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll get your por Porky notification to your phone straight away or your Porky fix. And then you'll not miss out on anything, will you? Right. I'm going to call this uh, video Friends to the End. You know, like Chucky. Do you remember Chucky off Child's Play when he's talking to that hand in here and at film and he's like, Friends to the End. Well, what happened to Tyson Fury and Ben Davidson? I thought they were friends to the end. What what's happened there? Why ain't somebody coming out and explaining something to the fans? I think the fans have got a right to know. You know, we're all going to be paying out twenty five quid to watch it, aren't we? So, whatever happened to friends to the end? Hey, eh? I've got a feel for Ben Davison and all this to be honest and um, you know I think he's come out with his dignity intact but all this people not uh, wanting to talk about it and uh, all that what, what's all that about hey why is it all shrouded in mystery and nobody wants to speak do they well I've got a theory on that and I'm going to share it with you Ben Davison right train Billy Joe right back up a bit Billy Joe fought that back off or whatever he were called he fought him in Paisley Scotland didn't he right he was his trainer right then he left him he said he was great and all that and he won and he's a great trainer and they say nothing but great things about him well Billy Joe son has left him right went to Dominic Ingle he then went back to him after a few fights down the line and then he's left him again and he's gone back to Dominic Ingle friends to the end what is all that about is Ben just somebody that people go to when they want to lose some weight I don't know I don't know but why would you put up with that why would Dominic Ingle put up with it do you want me to tell you why pound notes right what can anybody possibly teach Tyson Fury and Billy Joe Saunders at this stage of the career? Both are multi-skilled. They're like off the charts, aren't they? They're up there with Ray Leonard and Ali as regards they can fight all styles. They can do it all, can't they? They've got everything in the locker. Is it just a case that they need fitness? I don't know, but nobody wants to say anything, do they? It's all... Is it because... They want to give Ben respect or what? Why are they walking away from him? He's supposed to be this guru. This, according to that Asge, who, who, who basically just missed out on top 15 elements at Decade by about five votes, Asge. Asge were nearly in 15th place, but according to Asge, this Ben's some, like, master super trainer. There's super trainers... And there is trainers. And Ben Davidson is not just a trainer, according to Asgi. He is a super trainer. There's trainers and there's super trainers. It's like there's soup and then there's Heinz soup. Isn't there? Well, Ben is a super trainer, according to Asgi. Tyson Fury said great things about him. Ben's my man. We've done it together. He's the he's my man and blah de blah. Well, Tyson's left him now. Right? Does that mean that Isaac Lowe's going to leave him? Because Isaac Lowe was saying that Ben's best trainer he's ever had. Now, can you see how these people all of a sudden they go with the narrative, don't they? What suits them in it? Isaac Lowe, is he going to stay with Ben Davidson now? Because Isaac Lowe, you might know who Isaac Lowe is. If you ever go look at his tweets, you can always tell Isaac Lowe's tweeted something because he spells biscuit, doesn't he? B-I-S-K-I-T. So 
No offence, Isaac. It's only banter. It's only banter. But no, point I'm trying to make is this. Ben Davidson's different gravy. We were told they were different gravy. Now, Tyson Fury got touched up by Otto Wallin. He got cut down there by a punch. Got dropped twice by Wilder, who was technically shocking, apparently. But he knocked Tom Swartz out. He couldn't get Serifa Sarifi out there, could he? Somebody had to stop the fight. And uh, after the fourth round, oh, what other one? Pianetta, who were going to turn him into an Italian sausage. That went to points. So, is Ben Davidson what they say? Is he, is he what he's cracked up to be? Or is John Fury, is he running the show now? I don't know. I don't know. But Ben Davidson's kept his dignity. You've got to give him his credit. But Billy Joe's dropped him twice. Tyson's dropped him once. And they're now saying they might work together again. What is all that about? Is it over money? Have they fell out? Is, 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 has Ben had a go at Tyson because he's done something wrong? What has gone on? I think fans have got a right to know what's gone on. I mean, it's all shrouded in mystery, in it? But one minute the friends to the end blood brothers and all that and he's lost well they're now saying it's 11 stone that he lost but i've heard it's nine just under nine to be exact but what were it 28 27 and a half 28 they're saying he's gonna fight at 19 that to me is eight five eight stone in it or just under i don't know Either way, whatever weight he's lost, he's lost it and he's got him in the right frame of mind. I mean, people are saying that Tyson's stronger. He's faster than a speeding bullet. So if Tyson's stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet and he's mentally in the right place and he's punching harder than ever, bring that down to Ben Davidson. Who's it down to? They're a similar age group. They probably bounced off each other. Friends to the end. Well, it hasn't worked out that way, has it? But everybody's doing all the right things and saying all the right things. And we might work together down the line. What it basically means in boxing is this. When you leave one trainer and go to another, or go to another trainer, do you know what that means, don't you? It means F off. That's what it means. But we'll not burn bridges with you because we're managed by MTK and you're employed by MTK. See, Ben's an MTK man, isn't he? And from what I've heard, he's a popular kid. And he does talk a good game, so... But as he learnt his craft, it's all, it's all very well having Billy Joe Saunders and Tyson Fury dropped on your lap at their level. I mean, Billy were a world champion. Tyson's undefeated... Lineal champion, Lineal, so they say. I mean, whatever that means, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, Tyson Fury retired, or he were banned from drugs, or he vacated. It were one of them three. He hasn't got a belt. So don't be giving me all this Lineal. It's a load of nonsense. But he beat the man. Vladimir was the man, and he beat him. So he had Lineal status, but then he threw it all away, didn't he? Or had it took off him, or whatever. It's all shrouded in a mess, isn't it? bit like the uh, wild boar situation but we'll not go down that i'm gonna save that for another day yet again but ben davidson and tyson fury were friends to the end according to them it were all big group high fives and group hugs and sparring in ring on fight week and you know everybody laughing and joking and it were all great and how did it how, how did everything that was so great not get so great uh, what what's gone on well we don't know do we everybody seems to say it's down to money oh it's down to money ben wanted a bigger slice of pie but i don't know what's going on so i can't comment on it but what i do come what i do want to comment on is this tyson's had five fights since he come back serifa serifi pianetta wilder Tom, Tommy Swartz and Otto the Machine Gun Wallin. Or what it's Sugar Otto Wallin. Oh, we'll just call him a Wally. Either way, he's gone four wins, a draw, and, and he hasn't been defeated. And you could say he beat Wilder. So, 
has Ben Davison delivered? I'd say he's delivered. But Tyson's moved on now to a copper. Sugar Hill is a former copper law enforcement. That's old Bill in it where we come from. So Tyson's working with a former copper who's Manny Stewart's nephew. Why what does that mean? It's not Manny Stewart, is he? Eh? It's not Manny Stewart, is he? So well, I'm just saying is it's not Manuel Stewart, so what 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 does that mean? I don't know. What has Sugar Hill ever done? Well I don't know. If he were any good, why didn't Vladimir Klitschko have him as his trainer when Manny Stewart died? He didn't, did he? They went with Jonathan Banks. So what does that tell you? I don't know. Is it convenient for Tyson? I don't know. Is Sugar Hill and Andy Lee, are they willing to take less money? I don't know. I don't really care, to be honest. But And I'm not Team Ben Davidson and I'm not Team Tyson. All right, but all I'm going to say is, till somebody comes out and says this happened, it's just going to be shrouded in mystery, isn't it? Who knows? Tyson might even go back to him. I don't know, but all of a sudden they're saying that Tyson's going to be this big puncher and he's going to be a KO artist. I don't know. When was last time Tyson KO'd anybody? I don't know. I don't want to pour scorn on Tyson's CV, but. I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave you with this, right? Tyson Fury's record is this. He has got one win over a world champion, and he was in his 40th year, Vladimir. So Tyson's got one world title win. One. The same as Glenn Catley. The same as Buster Douglas. The same as Andy Ruiz. One world title win, one. That's it. That's it. And he's got a win over a blown up cruiserweight in Steve Cunningham, who held a cruiserweight title many years before in a life and death where he got dropped. That's it. I don't want to talk about he beat Wilder and that. It's a draw in record books. But what does concern me is there's no press days booked for Tyson against Wilder. Why is that? Why aren't they hammering a press tour? Why is that? Why is that? Is something about to happen? Is it going to be called off? We don't know. It's all shrouded in mystery, isn't it? Like Tyson and Ben. Maybe Tyson has just gone out there to train with Sugar Hill to learn how to punch harder and just have a break from it all because he's got things going on in America and he's going to come back to Ben. Because they all seem to come back to Ben, don't they? And they've parted amicably, aren't they? And, but Andy Lee's saying he's willing to mediate between them. So something's going on, hasn't it? But I tell you what, Andy Lee sure is mediating because he's got his self a slice of cake, hasn't he? He's got his foot in the door. Yeah, I'll mediate for you, Tyson. Get rid of Ben. <laughs> all the joking, Ben, Andy, Tyson. We don't know what's going on, do we, till you tell us. But... Andy Lee's mediating, and he's got his centre position with the so-called Laniel, heavyweight champion of the world, in one of the biggest fights ever. It's biggest fight in boxing, Wilder Fury rematch. It's the biggest fight in boxing. Um, well, Andy Lee's in the thick of it, isn't he? Tyson's cousin, but he's no relation blood-wise, but he's his cousin. But either way, him and a former copper are going to be training Tyson. And Ben's on the outside looking in. That's what's happening with Ben. He's looking through window now. He's on outside. Where does that leave Asgi though? Is Asgi still going to be running around saying Ben's best trainer in the world? Or is Asgi now going to be running around saying that Andy Lee's best trainer in the world and Sugar Hill, Officer Dibble, ex law enforcement? Is Asgi going to be saying Sugar Hill? And Andy Lee at best trainers in the world. Because he used to say that Peter Fury was best trainer in the world. That's what he was saying at one point. Peter Fury is best in the world without a shadow of a doubt. Then it was Ben Davison's best in the world. Now it's Sugar Hill and Andy Lee that are best in the world. 
So is Peter not best in world, Asgi? I don't know. Is Ben not best in world? I mean, what is going on, Asgi? By the way, Asgi, you finished 16th in Helmets of the Decade. 16th, Asgi. You're only a few votes off 15th, Asgi, so not bad, that. Not bad, but... Who's best trainer in the world? Does anybody know now? Is it Sugar Hill and... and uh, Mandy Lee. If Tyson leaves Sugar Hill and Andy Lee and goes back to Ben, is Ben best then? I don't know. What's Ben Davidson done with anybody from debut? Nothing. What's he done with anybody who's had losses and gone on to win a world title? No. He ain't done anything like that. Billy Joe won a world title with Ben at Super Middle, but Billy were already a WBO middleweight. So does that count for Ben? I don't know. Who was the guy who Billy Joe beat for belt for uh, won a WBO, 168 pound? I don't know, I can't remember his name, but he was Pony. So, I don't know, is Billy Joe a good fighter? You bet he is. Is Tyson a good fighter? You bet he is. Can they learn anything at this stage of their career? No. Nobody can teach them anything. The main thing is you keep them motivated and keep them fit. Because if they're fit on the night, they beat Wilder, don't they, and AJ and Canelo and Triple G but out Tyson Fury and Billy Joe who is the elite win on the records you'd have to say Lemieux is Billy Joe's best win in it Lemieux, Eubank, Andy Lee Tyson, Cunningham, Vladimir and Hamer they're Tyson's best wins on paper so for the skills they've got, there isn't, a la there isn't an elite win, is there? I were hoping Ben were going to do that, but he's out he's on outside looking in now. Billy Joe's gone back with Vin Diesel. And Tyson's with Robocop, isn't he? So, Robocop and Vin Diesel, maybe they're going to do the business for him. Who knows, but the saga continues. The story continues, so we wish them well. They're boxers, and they deserve respect. So, but it's a very interesting one, isn't it? You know, people are saying Ben Davidson's the best. Now, they're not saying anything. They've all gone quiet, these people. A bit like Eddie Earn, really, isn't it? With the old, uh, sh what's he called? Chavez, refusing to take a drug test or something like Eddie never said much about that, did he? Silence is golden, and let's hope that Ben Davison and Tyson come out and tell us why they fell out, because it wasn't so long ago they was both running around saying, Friends to the end! You know, like Chucky. Friends to the end! Isn't it a shame how things go like that, eh? But I feel for Ben, but I wish him well, and I wish Tyson well. And I wish Billy Joe well We uh, Vin Diesel. Oh, Vin texts him back, doesn't he? People leave Vin Diesel and he texts them back. People do out there, won't they, for pound notes. do not money make you do strange things? You think? I think money makes people do very, very strange things. Very, very strange things. That's what I think. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the button now and you will get your porky fix straight to your phone on the notifications. That's how we do it. So peace out, keep on trucking. Like I've just said, shout out to Robin Reed. Shout out to Robin Reed multivitamins. If you need any multivitamins, go to Robin Reed. Shout out to Innovation Alloys at Sheffield and South Yorkshire Packaging at Rotherham. All right, have a nice day. Friends to the end.